stage, but also just when I'm walking around, just living life, I like to be really comfortable. And I think that's important to just feel good about what you're wearing and feel good about yourself. I am obsessed with jean vests lately, so I will wear this with literally anything. It's very lightweight and I'll pair this with anything. It's just like a little tank here. So I think my everyday style kind of merges into what I wear on stage because I'm just trying to be myself. <laughs> Gregory Deli Carpini Jr. Fashion Editor with Billboard. I am sitting here with the young starlet whose YouTube channel has over 30 million views. The super adorable Tori Kelly. Hi. Growing up uh, in terms of style, was there someone you admired most? On a fashion level, I kind of went all over the place. Uh, as a kid, I don't know if I ever looked up to like one person, but as a kid, I would wear like leotards all day around the house and just like sing and I thought that I was like into gymnastics for a while, so I just live in that. I kind of just always had my own style, I think. I never really thought of the fashion aspect. I was always into the music, and I think the fashion came from the music and just kind of let the music speak for itself. 
You seem so interested Could you tell me Was it real or was it all in my head? So you covered so many songs and now you have your own EP out. What was the process like going from covering songs to making your own music? It was really exciting actually because being on YouTube and posting covers for so long there was a point where I was just like I think it's time to have my own music and really show people um, who I am as an artist. So it was really awesome to see all the fans that I had gotten from YouTube, just to see them kind of just really support that. And I mean, because it's scary putting out your own music, you don't know if they're gonna like it. With covers, it's a little more safe because you know, the song's already out there, do you like it? So making that transition into writing my own songs and really like putting it out into the world was scary, but really, really cool when they started supporting it. With your music, has your style changed over the years? Definitely. I've only been playing guitar for three and a half, almost four years, so everything before that I was making a lot of beats and experimenting with like synths and just kind of all over the place uh, genre-wise. And um, I went like super, super pop for a little bit. And I think once I picked up the guitar, I found my own style somehow and I was able to incorporate like still some pop elements, but just keeping it a little more raw, stripped down, and bringing back like the soulful music that I grew up listening to, and adding that into my own style too helps a lot. Uh, so what can we expect to see from you next? Well, I'm working on a lot of new music lately. Hopefully in the fall, I believe, there'll be something that I can put out. And then next year as well, maybe a bigger body of work. So a lot of new music, let's focus for this year. Cool. So we'll definitely keep an eye out this fall. Yeah, Thank definitely. you so much for stopping by. Thank you for having me. Thanks.